Former Coronation Street star Chris Fountain opened up about shock after suffering from a mini stroke two months ago, in Tuesday's episode of This Morning. The actor, 35, was admitted to Hackney's Homerton University Hospital following the incident on August 11, after which he was left speaking like a toddler. He said he realized something was seriously wrong after waking to discover he could no longer articulate his speech, prompting the terrified star to dial 111 from his London home and request an ambulance. Speaking to Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield, he explained, I woke up in the morning to a call from my mum. While I was on the phone, I was trying to say something but I couldn't remember what I was saying and it wasn't coming through. I said I would call her back and couldn't put my finger on it. I was trying to identify things in my house, like a towel but couldn't say what I was thinking, my brain and mouth weren't on the same page. The thing that made it more obvious to me, I picked up a book and tried to read it, it was working in my head but not aloud. He then went on, physically I felt fine but when I sat with the nurse it became very difficult to speak, I was embarrassed and panicked and scared. They kept me in hospital for a CT scan which was clear and then they kept me in overnight and tested me for an MRI scan. Opening up about his shock, Chris said, the doctor said the word stroke and although it was a mini stroke, as soon as he said it I was looking at him and going why has this happened, will it happen again? It was like someone had pulled a rug from underneath me. I keep myself fit and last year I did a mad health kick. I found out that I have a hole in my heart, apparently this is quite common and many people will not realize, but the clot went through the heart to the brain. Despite the awful experience, Chris explained that he felt lucky, saying, as traumatizing as it has been, it could have been so much worse for me. I could have lost my arm and my face could have dropped. For the first few days after coming out of hospital, I was stumbling over my words a bit and I became irritable. The actor, best known for his former role as Tommy Duckworth in Corey, later discovered had suffered a transient ischemic attack TIA, commonly referred to as a mini-stroke, as a consequence of blood clotting in his brain. He told the mirror, when the doctors confirmed I'd had a TIA and said the word stroke, I just couldn't believe it, there was a moment of sheer panic just fearing what it meant for the rest of my life. Would I have another one? Would the next one be even worse and I'd lose the use of my arms or legs? I was really scared and just broke down in tears. Chris was eventually transferred to the The Royal London Hospital, where he underwent further tests over a five-day period before being released into the care of his worried family. He added, the doctors said they saw some damage to the left-hand side of my brain which is where your cognitive abilities are controlled from. What's scary is if I hadn't have called 111 when I did and got to hospital so quickly I don't know if that clot could have traveled to the wrong place in my brain, I could have died. That clot was like a ticking bomb in my head. Doctors have since discovered the clot was triggered by a small, previously undetected hole in his heart allowing blood to flow into his brain, meaning he will need an operation to close it. The actor is now working with a speech therapist and says his ability to speak has almost completely returned, but still struggles when required to read aloud. But he insists he will use the experience positively and is now intent on living life to the max. He said, going through something like this makes you realize just how fragile life is, it can really be snatched away from you at any moment. 
Chris spoke about the depression he suffered after being axed from Coronation Street when a video of him using misogynistic slurs while rapping about women was posted online. The actor was filmed rapping about rape in the clip, which he said left him with bleak career prospects to this day. Chris discussed his difficulties with fellow Coronation Street actor Ryan Thomas and his brothers Adam and Scott on their Minx on the Mic podcast. He said, I've been in some very dark, horrible places, to the point where I realized I needed to start changing the way that I was thinking, otherwise I might not have been here. My life, my job, my image, my reputation, everything was just ripped away. Within 24 hours. I didn't leave my house for four days. He added, it never been this discombobulated before. I was meant to go on this morning and then that got cancelled because they didn't want me on there. After a while, I was like, I think I'm going through depression here. After leaving Coronation Street, Chris appeared on the show Girlfriends in 2018 and has also acted in regional plays, but says his work prospects are still impacted by the video. He said, as much as I like to say everything's alright and everything's cool, work-wise at the moment, it's bleak. Am I not getting jobs because of that, the scandal, or am I not getting jobs because I'm not as good an actor as I once thought I was? I don't know if he'll ever find that answer. If you have questions about Tia or want to speak to someone, call the Tia helpline on 0303-3033-100. If you have been affected by this story, Call Samaritans at any time for free on 116 123.